Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we're going to continue our exploration into the Yang Cheng Fu's 13 original postures. It's a very short form, and uh, but very powerful. It's a, a large frame form, meaning that it's big and uh, really opens up your energy, opens up the field, and opens up your body, really expands the joints and creates space in the joints. And it's really powerful, very strong uh, uh, directed form. And you, what we're doing and is we're learning to use the effortless power that comes from the creating the, the, the conditions that allow the energy to flow more freely. So we're first in our, uh, in our three pillars, we're opening to the big chi. That is, we're making the connections between heaven and earth. And so we're getting the yin chi of the earth and the yang chi of the heavens circulating through our bodies. And so that we then are finding these ways of expanding and, and reaching out and allowing that to really circulate through the whole system. And so we're not just using the limited resources that are within our body mind, but we're actually connecting up to the big chi. And that is we're, we're allowing ourselves to access more than we can ordinarily on our own and doing it in a very controlled and directed way. So we're actually very, you know, conscious of these movements so that we can move the energy very um, uh, efficiently throughout the whole system. And the paradox here is that even as we're moving the chi, we're not really forcing it. We're not kind of di directing it into, in the sense uh, that we're telling it where to go. We're just creating the conditions where that is going to happen. And, uh, and so the... In within this this uh, this very short set, there's a lot of variety in in the way that the energy is being expressed, and we get a chance to uh, to explore some of those things. So in doing this, what we're going to do is take a lot of the stuff that I've been talking about for the last couple of years on this on this program, and really getting into the application. We're seeing how to apply these things in. Uh, individual postures. And just because I don't mention something in a particular movement doesn't mean it's, it's, it's absent. It just means that I'm highlighting a different quality in that moment, a different principle in that moment, so that it kind of bringing that element out. And um, it would be impossible to be able to talk about everything that we're doing in, in each movement and also get kind of boring. But if we just take these moments and, and highlight them and allow some of these things to carry through. And one thing I want to mention is like uh, the element of central equilibrium. And this is where the, one of the three pillars, it's, it's where we open up to the, the yin chi of the earth, the yang chi of the heavens, and we get to borrow the chi from that. And the name of it kind of, um is is sort of a a best guess of the um uh the chinese term which is jong ding and it but it if you think about it too uh, uh direct think about it too um literally that's it literally, think about it too literally those terms you know central equilibrium it kind of implies that things are balanced and that you're in this Everything is kind of centered and balanced and and at rest. And it's actually not. It it's a very dynamic posture. It's a very dynamic, not even a posture, it's a dynamic principle. And that it changes even when your body is out of balance, you still can maintain this quality of central equilibrium, this Zhong Ding, because you know, whenever we shift so that we're reaching out and the body gets elongated, the body's no longer balanced. It's, it's reaching and it's extending. It's 
it's centering over uh, you know, one leg or the other. And in that moment, that has we have to find that that central pillar within the structure that's not necessarily balanced in terms of right, left, front, back, but it's centered over the the um, the supporting structure. So we find that, and as we get more and more familiar with this quality of Zhang Ding, then we can get even more outlandish in our our uh, our postures. We can we get we can find that quality and uh, in all kinds of positions, and that's where you get you know acrobats and uh, gymnasts and and uh, skateboarders and things like they're able to do these these crazy uh, feats that are that just seem so improbable it's because they're able to find this quality of Zhang Ding in their movements that are are not necessarily structurally balanced. And so we kind of move in the direction of of a harmonious interplay within all the different parts, but not necessarily getting too rigid in our thinking and trying to fit it into into the idea of of being um, in in a state of balance. Okay, so that's just one one quality there, and I'll kind of call your attention to it as we're as we're going along here. And I want you to find that your central equilibrium and into each of these different movements and parts of the movements, and then we get to play around with that. We're going to go kind of nice and slow, and we'll pause along the way and to explore some of the some of the elements of them which deserve their moment of in the spotlight so that we can uh, we can appreciate how those things fit together because whenever we're doing the form you know maybe we don't notice them as much because we're moving on to the next thing but to, to, to slow down and actually get the uh, you know, get that focus on them is this moment to bring that into our regular practice. So uh, let's uh, stand up and and get to work here. We're going to begin with our three pillars. That is, are we on the wide angle? Yep. Okay, cool. So there we go. There's the feet. Okay, good. So uh, let's begin with the three pillars. Start with your feet, uh, heels together, toes apart, and bring your center your body over the balls of your feet. The, the whole foot is still touching the ground, but we're centering over the balls of the feet. And this creates a, a dynamic energy flow. Okay, so, so we're opening up the, the, the energy gates in the centers of the foot, in the, what's called the, uh, the bubbling spring or the bubbling well. And so that allows the yin chi of the earth to rise. Now reach with the crown of your head and tuck in your chin. And this allows the yang chi of the heavens to come down to the top of your head, to the, the bai hui point, and it allows that to infuse. The yang chi of the heavens is infuses the whole body. So we got the yin chi rising, the yang chi descending. Tuck in your chin, and this allows the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull, that area at the, at the base of your skull that um, where your occiput meets your your um, atlas, your the topmost vertebra, and this allows the energy to rise into your brain, into the 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 spiritual valley in in your brain. So this this um, we start to play with the big chi now. We're allowing that to, to fill up the whole system. And if you just feel into your hands, you'll notice that they're tingling, pulsing. They're already getting connected up. There's chi that's already circulating. So this, when I talk about the uh, the effortless power, it's it's coming from this. It's like we're not 
We're allowing the energy to do the work for us. The knees are unlocked. And relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. Reaching down with your coccyx and feeling yourself sinking down into the earth. Still keeping your, your body centered over the balls of your feet as you do this. And turn and do, from the hip joint just so that your whole, if you put your hands on your hips so your hips and your shoulders are moving at the same time. Basically, we're just loosening up the qual and allowing that, because that becomes very important in what we're doing. Be able to move from that, from the, the hip joints. And to open up the shoulder joints, we want to just reach out slightly with the elbows. And that allows the chi to flow more freely through the arms. And also allows the whole system to come up to a much higher state of, of um, energy flow, but also coherence. And then point with your index fingers and just feel that, feel them. And that allows the, the whole system to get more coherent. So we got our, our three pillars, center equilibrium, energetic coherence, and we're opening the, uh, the, uh, the energy gates or unkinking the hose, I like to call it. So this, uh, let's review what we did last week, just the opening. I call it the most important move in the form because this sets the stage. If you, if you can do this correctly, then it allows you to be able to uh, do any move better. And that's a simple thing. We're going to take a, a step to the side where it's just like this. We're just going to step out with the left foot. So we're going to review what we did last week, and that is, this is such an important move, and some of you are just joining us, so I'd like to uh, really feel into that. So you want to feel the feel the uh, the heel of your right foot, and that you want to allow your knee to set. That is, you're going to feel that the knee it adopts a position. It's not going to move now because all the action is going to happen here from the hip joint. So we're going to release and spiral down to the left. I want you to just feel into that because what happened when we do this is that we begin the process of, of creating substantiality in the right leg. That is, a, the right leg is becoming more substantial. It's becoming the, the, the supporting leg. And in doing so, the left leg gets more insubstantial. That is, less of work is being done by the left leg as we do this. And just you want to feel that. And I talked more about central equilibrium. So we've gone from weight being 50-50 to now having about 70% of the right leg. And we still want to have that sense of Zhong Ding, that central pillar just kind of going. But instead of going between my feet, it's now heading right down into my right foot. Now feel the, uh, feel the ball of the right foot and turn. The whole body just rotates so that now you have about 90% of your weight in the right foot. And really feel that Zhong Ding, feel that central equilibrium there. And feel the power that's coming, the energy that's filling up your hands, your, your whole body starting to resonate with this with this chi and we haven't done much here but we just we're just starting to get this get the uh, this thing moving and already we've got a full tank of gas now pick up the heel of your left foot and as you do that you want to kind of sink down even more we talk about sinking down into the structure of the body we talk about it being sung. Sung is S-O-N-G is the, is the term. And when we get sung, we're releasing into the structure of the body. So we're letting the extraneous muscle contraction go. You're still using muscles. There's no getting around that. But we're letting go of the muscles which want to push away from the earth. We're releasing down into that right leg and picking up that, that left heel. And so 
now we have about 95% in the right leg. And you want to be able to just be able to pick up the foot, you know, and if, if that's too hard right now, don't worry about it. You can just, just picking up the heel is good enough for now. Because you're going to want to, there's going to be a point here where that you're going to pick up the left foot to step up and it's going to be 100%. So you're going to work in the direction of getting more and more confidence in your ability to support yourself with your right leg. But for right now, that's just this is good enough, and we want to now pick up the left foot and step out, and do that so that it's a nice, easy step. There's you're stepping, and it's a very gentle step. It's an empty step. That is, we're not shifting any weight into it yet. You know, maybe you know. 10% of the body's weight, just the, the leg itself is, is, is setting up there. Notice I'm still in central equilibrium in my, in my right leg as I'm doing this. Now, you're going to feel the heel of the left foot and set the left knee. And just by doing that, we're starting the process of making the left leg substantial. That is, it's going to become you know, the, the dominant leg in the, in the conversation coming up now. We're shifting from the right leg to the left leg. As we do that, we're going to spiral down at the hip joint, spiral down to the right. So we're loading up that left leg, and it's becoming more and more dominant. It's, it's, it's the one that's it's going to power this the, the next part of this. So we're in a heel, and we're just feeling into that. We're spiraling down. And now we're going to feel the ball of the foot, of the left foot, and use that to, to turn the body. So we're going to turn and, and pivot on the right heel so that now we're facing straight ahead. Elbows are still out at the side. We're, we're back to 50-50, but it's a different kind of 50-50 now. It's a much more dynamic posture. We've gone from here, which is a really neutral state, to out to here which is a very dynamic. In Taiji language, we think of this more as a Wu Chi posture. That is, a, it's, it's the emptiness that precedes the, the Taiji. And then we go to, to here, and then we're now we're in the Taiji posture. That is the grand ultimate. This is where the, the wholeness that, that allows the, everything proceeds from. But just feel into that and notice that there is a, uh, there is a, a power that comes with that. And we're connecting up. And go into the heels of your foot and just feel into, you're sinking into the heels and now you're into the yin part. So throughout this form, there's going to be this little dance of yin and yang, constantly. The hands are gonna be yin and yang, the legs are gonna be yin and yang, the, the foot is going, the dance between the heel and the ball of the foot are, is going to be yin and yang. Right now we're settling in and this is the yin phase. That is we're consolidating, we're, we're just allowing the energy to move down into the earth. And so now we're going to go to the next move, the next part of this, which is to sink into the balls of the feet so we're going and we're going to the yang phase now. We're going to amplify the energy and ah, we're going to stick there. We're going to establish our, our jong ding over the balls of the feet. And now we're going to reach with the wrists. That is extending outward, up and out, and relax your shoulders, allow your elbows to drop, allow your fingers to hang. You bring that up to about chest height. And just feel that, feel the weight of your arms. And you're on the balls of your feet. Now you're going to reach with the fingers and open. Also, what you want to do is reach and open between your shoulder blades. This is a very important part to open up the, uh, the, the, the gate in, uh, that's just opposite your heart. You, whenever you... Do this, you open this up and it allows the chi to go from your legs through your coccyx, up your spine, and up to the J pillow gate. So you're creating this structure that allows the big chi to move even more freely. So, and 
anytime we're doing a young move like this expansion, there's, there's, a, there's an intake of breath. It's a, I'm not going to dwell too much on that, but you can think of that as I'm reaching out, I'm filling up, I'm blowing up the balloon. And then as I sink into my heels, <coughs> I sink into my heels and I exhale and reach down with my elbows and reach up with my fingers. And now I'm going to bring my wrists down. <coughs> Hands come down as I'm sinking, sinking yin, yin, yin. And now go to the balls of your feet and reach down with your fingertips. Open the joints and feel that young expansion. So we're back to this, this Tai Chi posture here, but it's even bigger. We've opened the energy gates now and we're, it's gotten even bigger. The, the big chi is, is, is filling us up. Let me get a drink and a little dry. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to go to the next movement, which is cloud hands or wave hands like clouds. And the idea here is that we're going to we're going to move and it's going to look like this. We're going to go like this. And then take a step and step in. Okay, so that's what the move looks like. But that's we're gonna get uh, we're gonna do it nice and slow and deliberate. And I want to fill in all the, the little spaces there, let you know exactly what's going on in each moment. So we're starting off here. We're in this IG place, which is the energy's expansion, expansive, and now we're going to sink into the left heel. And so we've gone from yang to ah, yin. And set the left knee and spiral down to the right. So we're, we're loading up and feeling into that left leg. So we've got probably about 70% in that left leg right now. This very yin. So now we're going to start to turn. And as we turn, when that right hand crosses my center line, which you can see with my buttons here, my, my center line, when that crosses, I'm gonna go from yin to the balls of my feet and go yang. And that is the arm is coming up now. It was, and here it's down here, it's yin, yin, yin. And I, oh, it's starting to climb and it's going to yang. That is, it's going to the expansive part. And reaches out with the with the fingers. I arm is very relaxed, very sung, and but it's it's reaching and extending. Notice I'm still in that jong ding in my left leg as I do this. I'm reaching down with my left hand. So I have two points and two terminals here in opposition. So I'm creating Qi flow between the yang right hand and the yin left hand. And this creates a very powerful energy flow that goes through the whole system. So that just sets that up. So we're gonna now go and we're gonna let that go and feel the heel of your right foot, set the right knee and spiral down, loading up the right leg, keeping that jong ding in the right leg as you turn, reaching out, with the right hand, but arm very relaxed. And now you turn, go into the, as you turn, whenever you reach that center line, then the ball of your foot, because now we're in the yang phase and oh, we're extending, opening, reaching, and the left hand is crossing and coming up. So the yin hand is going from yin to yang, and the right hand is going from yang to yin. And here we are, we're reaching out 
to the to the right side. Both hands are reaching out. Both the arms are parallel. Shoulders are relaxed. Notice that my elbows are are lower than my shoulders. I don't want to have the elbows up here. I want to have my arms nice and soft as they're reaching out. And the softness is deceptive because this is when they are at their most powerful. Because the energy is allowed to flow more freely through them. I'm reaching out. And so here, this is the point of maximum yang in this, mo in this movement. And now I'm going to feel the heel of my left foot and set the left knee and spiral down to the right. And as I do that, I'm going yin, yin. And as I'm doing the right hand is going from yang to yin. And the left hand is going from yin to yang as they're coming here. And they cross the center line. And what? We go into the ball of the foot and turn. And as we do that, reach out to the left side. Open the joints, open the shoulders, the elbows, open up the, the spine, open up between your shoulder blades, reaching with the fingers, but arms very relaxed at the same time, feeling that central equilibrium, the chi, the big chi is moving through and pumping up that motion. So your arms are getting these very full of, of energy as you do this. You're in the, in the, in the ball of the foot, you're in the yang, and if you were doing the breathing, this would be a point of where you're inhaling, you're full, you're filled up with energy, and now you're going to go to the yin and feel the ball of the, the heel of the right foot sink into the right leg and spiral down to the left. Notice as I spiral down, my arms don't move. Just all that's happening here is I'm just moving from the quad, moving from the hip joint as I'm winding up here. And now I'm going to turn and the right hand is going from yin to yang. Left hand is going from yang to yin. As I'm coming here, I get to my center line and go to the ball of my foot and turn. And reach and open. Feel that opening between your shoulder blades arms, the elbows, the wrists, everything is opening. We're feeling that yang expansion. And now you're going to feel the heel of your right foot and spiral down to the right. You're loading up that right leg 100%. Still keeping your zhong ding in your right leg. Pick up your left heel. Because we're going to take a step of that left foot now. We want to be really empty out. We want to load up and really trust that right leg. Because we're going to now make a step out a little wider than usual here. And so we're open. We're still supported by that substantial right leg as we're reaching out there. Still feeling that energetic connection between the right foot and the hands. And everything is really very, very powerful. Now we're going to feel the heel of the left foot set the left knee and ah, spiral down to the right. You're loading up into the left quad, the left hip joint as you spiral down to the right, feeling that central equilibrium as you're doing that, and you turn, 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 turn. And whenever you cross, go to the ball of the foot and reach. Yang, step in with the right foot to about a hip width. And so we're in this yang phase again. Okay, so relax a moment. And ah, just feel into, feel into your, your body. Just allow that to settle out a moment before we go into the next. So we're not going to do this over and over again. We just want to kind of get it so that the there's an understanding here. People can refer to the to the uh, the video if they want to explore deeper into it and get more familiar with the concepts.
would like to move now to the next movement, which is single whip. And this one where it's a, it's a little different than other single whips and that I've done. It's, 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 first of all, it's very big. Um, and, uh, it's not done exactly as, as a lot of people who might do this, this form, the, uh, uh, a traditional yang sao kind of brings in elements that I've uh, researched over the years and ones that I find I'm very confident in. So, um, but let's take that. So let's begin and you're reaching here with the arms opening. You're in a yang position. You're on the ball of the, the left foot. So now we're going to go ahead and feel the heel of the right foot. We're going to go yin, settling down, sinking, sung into that right leg as you're doing that, keeping your jong ding, your central equilibrium in your right leg. And as you turn, when you get to that center line, the right hand is going to, your fingers are going to come together wrist bends, elbows dropped, left hand is cupped and reaching upward, and we sink into the heel, we're into the heel of the right foot, and sink into this. So this is where, this is, call this a bird's beak. It, uh, I'm going to feel the, the, the fingertips together. They, they bring the acupun acupuncture points in the, in the fingers. And they, they unify that. It allows this energetic connection between the left and the right hand. You get these poles in opposition. And so from here, we're going to sink down and spiral down to the right. So you're loading into that right claw. You just want to feel into that. So you got about 70% of your weight in your right leg now. And just feel into that. Relax and, and gather the, the energy there. This is the yin part. So now we're going to go to the ball of the right foot and turn. And as we turn, reach out with your right wrist and open. So you're opening the shoulder, opening the elbow, opening your back. Everything is getting very big. The, the wrist comes up a little higher than I'm, I'm used to in other forms that I've done. It's a bigger up around ear height. There are people who do it up even higher. I like it around ear height. And this actually, I've seen pictures of, of Yong Cheng Fu and this is about where he has it too. So think of it about ear height. And I like to have the elbow drop below the wrist. Young Chen Fu, you know, in the picture I've seen him, his, his arm is, is reached out straight and that doesn't feel nearly as, as good to me as having a little bend in it. So you wanna, cause you wanna release some of the tension in the shoulder as you're doing this. So whenever I open, when I reach out like that with it straight then kind of locks up my shoulder and kind of kinks the hose there. So here I want to reach out with that wrist and open that up. And the yin hand, the left hand is down here and it's the yin balance to that, that right yang expansion. Your weight. So, so now you're going to feel the ball, the heel of your right foot and spiral down to the right. So you're loading up. You're sinking down and spiraling in. You're gathering and pick up your left heel. So take a moment and really feel comfortable having you know that your weight in your right leg now. You're you want to do that because you're gonna we're gonna be picking up the left foot and stepping out with it. And so it's gonna be a hundred percent in the right leg for a moment. So you want to get that confidence that yes, I can I can hang out here for a while. And so when you're practicing this, it's a, it's good to just Grab little spots like here and just park for a while and allow your body to get used to 
what it feels like to be in these positions. So, but now we're going to step with the left foot. And you want to get it so that it's pretty much lined up with the heel. It's a big step. But you want to have it so that you're able to step out. And so it's going to be a fairly narrow stance whenever we turn around here. We're going to turn to, to the left. But you want to have this, this lined up like this. So now you're going to feel the, the uh, heel of the left foot and set the left knee. Notice that my left knee is not going too far forward. I want to keep it just a little bit more, a little bit forward of vertical, of perpendicular to the floor. Because everything's going to be happening here from the claw. So I want to have that really stable. And so that feel the heel there. I'm sinking down and spiraling down into the left leg and turning to the spiraling down to the right as I do this, just loading up. And now I'm going to do the ball of the, uh, going to sink into the left leg. And now I'm going to pick up the, the elbow and the wrist and open up. So the, you're really expansive here. The uh, arms are reaching out and there's, there's this big expansive posture. And feel that central equilibrium. You're loading into that left leg, but there's a, there's a, your left palm is, is up. You're still with the, with the bird's beak in the right hand. So now you feel the ball of the left foot and set the left knee and you're going to turn and pivot on your right heel and rotate your forearm so the palm is, is about halfway forward. You're reaching out there. The right arm is reaching out to the side. So there are some forms where they, 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 it's, it's actually behind you, but if you'll notice, if it's too far behind, you, you'll, feel a, you'll feel the kink in the hose there at the, at the shoulder. I like it perpendicular and, and reaching out. The left hand, if you see from here, notice that the elbow is, is, is right in front of the shoulder. So. It's not like this, it's like this. So you're, you're reaching straight ahead with your left hand. Notice that my right leg is almost straight. My left knee is almost perpendicular to the ground. I'm reaching out here like this. And there's a, a slight forward lean with the torso so that it kind of lines up with that back leg. So it's not like this. It's like this. So there's a real forward aspect to the, to the body's posture. It's a very dynamic posture. And there's this young expression in this posture. Okay, and step in. Yeah, what do we got here? Got it. Okay. And take a moment there and just go into a neutral state here and just kind of feel into that. And just relax and let the energy circulate. Feel into the sink into the heels of your foot, your feet, and allow yourself to go into yin. You uh, yin relaxation. Feel the tingling and pulsing in your body. Feel into the electricity that's circulating throughout your body. Feel the circulation of your blood. And feel into your bone marrow. Just allow you, there's a, a quality there that, that as you, as you, your mind quiets, you start to tune into these different aspects of your being, which are constants within you. But in moments like this, when we amplify the chi, we amplify the energy, they become more pronounced. All right, let's go through that again with the, uh, from the uh, single whip. 
and be armed. So here we are at the, uh, uh, we've stepped in at the, uh, actually let's, let's take it to this from here. Um, so we're going into the, the cloud hands. We spiral down to the right and then turn to the left and reach. Feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left and then turn to the right. Now go to the ball of your right foot and turn. Now feel the left heel. Set the left knee and spiral down to the right. Yin, and then turn. Nice and soft. Your arms are very soft. Now, all of your left foot and yang. Feel that yang expansion. Fill. And right heel. Set the right knee, spiral down to the left. And turn to the right. When you cross the center line, feel the ball of the foot and turn, reaching, opening. Feel your arms extending out. Now feel the heel of your right foot and spiral down to the right. Loading up that right leg, pick up the left heel and step out with the left foot. Left heel, step the left knee and spiral down to the right and then turn. Arm very soft. Feel the ball of the left foot and reach, open, young, expand, step in. Now we're going into single whip. Feel the ball, or feel the heel of the right foot spiral down to the left and turn. We get to the center line. Bird's beak. Left hand, palm up. Now and spiral down to the right. You're in the heel of the right foot. Now you go into the ball of the right foot and turn. You're turning about 90 degrees. So you're, you've gone from here all the way over to here. Your hips have gone from here all the way over to here. As you're reaching out, opening that right wrist about the ear height. You now feel the heel of your right foot and spiral down to the right. Yin, sinking into that right leg, loading that up. Really feel into that. Reach for the crown of your head. Just feel that, that compact gathering of chi. You pick up that left heel. You really sung in that right leg and step with the left heel. And then sink into the heel of the left foot. The left knee goes, pushes out, elbow, wrist open. So we have this, this big posture, wide open. You're opening your chest, you're opening the shoulders, you're opening your back, everything is open. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna feel the ball of the right foot and turn. Pivot on your right heel, rotate your left forearm, Right hand up around ear height, left hand straight out from your shoulder, reaching forward, right leg almost straight, body slightly slanted forward, really loading up that front leg. So that's your single whip, okay? Now pivot on your right heel, hands come down, and step in. Pause for a moment in this neutral posture. Really feel it you sink into your heels. Allow the yin chi to go down into the earth. Or the yang chi to go down into the earth. You're feeling that there's a yin movement there. Yang is going to yin. Relaxing, very soon, letting go, emptying out. Now step it, uh, inhale as your arms come up. Go to the balls of your feet, 
Feel that expansion, open, 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 reaching, reaching, reaching. Big, big, very young. Now into the heels and ah, yin. Down, 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 the energy moving down. Sink. And pause for a moment and just feel into the emptiness. Allow yourself to dissolve all your, dissolve your chi, dissolve your body, dissolve your mind, and just allow it just kind of become present in, in the eternal now. Okay, please have a seat. How was that? Good? Good? <laughs> Valerie. <clears throat> um, at one point, um, you said slanting the body versus leaning. I appreciate that very much because leaning in Tai Chi has um, some negative connotations. So using the term slanting made it not only do I know what that means, I mean, I know what we're supposed to be doing, but some people don't, and they think leaning, no, you're not supposed to lean. So slanting was, I really appreciated that. That was good. Good. I mean, good. Besides everything else being really good, that was good. Great. Good. Nick, you had something. Yeah, I, I was thinking all the way through this, and when you were talking about um, central equilibrium as a as a not a balanced necessarily posture symmetrically what it strikes me is that if we thinking about it as as a dynamic state that is always in balance <laughs> but isn't necessarily visually symmetrical does that make sense or I think that, that, that's a way of talking about it that that makes sense to me you know uh yeah, it, it when we're talking about balance, it's so often confused with just that opening posture where everything 50 50 and you just kind of get it so you're not falling over. But once you start moving, that's gone. And now what? We have to think about it, it has to be thought about differently than you know, just a balance of forces, a balance of, of mass, you know, because the mass, you know, is going to be different, you know. They, if, uh, if I'm, you know, whenever we're going to the uh, the single whip there, and we're we are slanted forward into that left leg, and you know, there's it's you know, there's it's definitely not symmetrical in that point. So yes, your your words are are, are helpful there. So uh, Richard, yes, I'm. I just wanted to mention that for me. It's a little bit of a challenge moving from the beginning of single whip to the end of single whip, moving my feet from parallel into a narrow bow stance. Um, so I, I'll have to work on when I step out, getting my foot in the right place. Yes, that's good. Good point. That's something since every Taiji form has a different idea about what a stance should look like. How wide right. should it be? In my mind. This right. one is, I like it because it is, it's different. It's, it's, it's long and narrow and, and, uh, you know, uh, very <laughs> directed. So it, uh, it, the, that's part of its charm for me. And it's the, 
you know, kind of the opposite of, you know, what I'm, what I was used to with the, you know, Master Chen's form, which is, you know, a very wide stance with, uh, you know, very short and wide and very upright. And this is very different from that. So, yeah. So, yes, it takes some practice. And a lot of it has to do with how much do you trust your substantial leg? And, and, but it's, that's a work in progress. That's something that we're all working on. And particularly those of us who are not getting younger, we, uh, you know, we want to have something that keeps, you know, keeps us expanding in the future so that we're, uh, we're actually more stable, you know, 10 years from now than we are now. And that's, right. uh, that's something that is, uh, you know, not everybody can promise. And but I think it's, it's something that comes, you know, comes from this kind of practice. I, I got a funny thought in my head. I have to remember where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Scott, you got something? Yeah, um, that was fantastic. I, that was perfect speed and explanation. Everything was perfect for me. Good. Good. Um, and I can I can definitely say that uh, recently uh, my balance is like like I'll be in the shower and I'll need to wash my foot and I'll just pick up my foot <laughs> to hit to waist height to wash uh, it and wow. I didn't think about it. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 pretty cool that you know you know old dogs are learning new tricks here and this is uh, pretty neat you know. Yeah. Um, um, that, and the other, that you should definitely, um, because when working with you, I I didn't, didn't I didn't realize it until I was actually working with you in Sedona that how much of a slant there is in this one. If you watch Master Young, you can see that he's like he's like this, you know. So sometimes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes depends, yeah. Yeah. well, the one yeah, that's you know, every time. So you know, you don't, uh, but there right. are. are it's it really severe. Yeah. yeah, compared to most, yeah, I mean, it's like night and day from Williams' form. I mean, he he almost never is not this, you know. Right. So yeah, it's, it's it's a big difference for people. For him, to, him to go forward, you know, ten degrees or fifteen degrees is is substantial, and it uh, it really makes it into a workout, you mm. know, for your legs you know, to to really be able to get you know very sung in your legs while in that. Carrying that much body weight in it, you know, we we uh, we don't realize how much we cheat, you know, in our in our normal day. You know, we just we just kind of kind of fudge it. But when we actually have to stop and say, "Oh, yes, you're doing work now, leg," and uh, and it's saying, "Yeah, but I'm not. I don't like it." <laughs> you know, I told you, "Buck up," you know, <laughs> Richard. Uh, I also wanted to say it was really helpful to me when you went through the move before you started teaching it. Oh, good. That was really helpful to me. Thank you. So you can see where you see where the thing is going. Right. That's, so I can okay. remember where I'm going. Well, I will try to remember that to, to get that, uh, to get that going so that you can see what's, what, what it feels like. Yeah. Nick. I, I want to ask if this makes, uh, th this is what you see as well. What what I see when I look at your form and, and Master Yang's form and is that rather and also this helps with the notion of leaning. It's it's the there's a straight line more or less from the shoulders to the back heel. It's so if you take a longer stride, your body is at a more acute angle if you take a shorter stride because that's what you need to do right now it it won't feel as severe um but as you get more confident and stronger in your base and you're able to take those longer stances then you will find a much slantier. more pronounced slant slantier yes. yeah <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's a very good point very good point that, that is what i what i observe so yes you know, okay. we, and there's a continuity there, you know, from the, the leg through the through the spine, it, that's that's still straight. We're keeping that that's that's still your your gold standard. And so it uh 
it uh, it's a different quality of energy. It's a more of a more of a young, expansive energy, I find, than than the vertical one. The vertical one tends to be more uh, even, more you know. And this one is more. No, no, we're we're going someplace. Yeah, when you when you when we were working with Sedona, that you explained that's how you explained it to me is that you know your upper body and your and your back leg are forming a straight line and that was that's a very helpful good you know and that, that's uh, something to take, that's something to get the interoception necessary to realize that, that that's what's happening you know because you can you can fool yourself into thinking you're doing it and like no no it's not it's it's all broken up so you want to you know look at look at yourself in a mirror and have someone video you or something like that so that you you this is what it feels like to have you know a, a, a solid slant there and and then you can you start to remember that feeling and then you can go forward from there and you can practice that and then check it every now and then great i find it feels it feels really good but something, there's something I, I'm, about I'm a that. huge fan i'm a huge fan ever yeah. since the first time master young showed it to me it's like wow this is really cool this is this is different than anything i've done before and and so it just packs in just a few movements it packs in so much so much chi and uh which can then you can use in other things as well uh yes so great good stuff okay thank you all so much Thank you, producer. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks to the production crew. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.